Hey ya folks, my name is Promise, and welcome to more Rebel Link Escalation Custom Scenarios! You know, a funny story, I actually had a totally different series I was gonna be starting today, and then it turned out it's a buggy piece of crud, and then uh, I was like, oh crap, I don't have a video, I guess I better do some Rebel Link. That's a good tried and true method of uh, success on YouTube, right? <laughs> anyway, there's a scenario I saw that I want to give a go, it's by Doc Tord, and it's called The Long Dark. Times are changing, winter is on the horizon, and it's going to last for a very long time. The world is getting colder and colder as the days pass, heating has the utmost importance, and there's seismic activities as well. Taking advantage of the situation, rogue anarchists are occupying a mountainous area. I gotta deal with them. And then the region is a massive rural agriculture compromised of farmland and orchards surrounded by forested rolling hills with coal mining. So a lot of stuff has been renamed, there are some custom initiatives and so on. I'm guessing the region modifiers It's what's going to be really exciting on this one. I don't know. The idea of a frosty scenario is kind of cool. I really wish that there were some basic graphical options for the mod creators in this uh, game though. Man, there's so many cool things you could do. Imagine you could just turn up like one or two things and all of a sudden the map is mostly white and snowy. How cool would that be for a mod like this, you know? Anyway, constant earthquakes have caused permanent damage on infrastructure. Not all can be repaired. Temperatures have been steadily decreasing for an unknown reason. Securing the urban area is your primary objective. All right, there's also gonna be a bunch of embassies I guess I have to defend. Um, I guess this is still a good spot for an HQ. Defends a couple spots over here. It's easy to get to a few other places. This embassy is gonna be at risk. But it also lets me quickly get to some urban areas across the rivers over here, too. So I think we'll give that one a go. Lots of modifiers today. Weak infrastructure. All right. That's going to be a thing. Uh, troops and enemies can travel across rivers. Well, crap. That's going to be a problem. No airfields. Oh, wow. Mainland separation. Seismic activity has destroyed most of the land routes. Uh, inflation and bartering runs rampant. Regions, frequent blizzards make intel collection harder and cause decay. Winter has made it difficult for us to help the locals. Insurgents are using snow camouflage, they've occupied the mines, and then there are heating initiatives. State can supply the population with heating initiatives to greatly increase support, and our regional soldiers have snow gear. We can get more initiatives that way. Wow, okay. You know, again, I really... <laughs> this is... This is kind of funny here. Uh, again, I really wish there were some graphical changes because already I like the idea of so many different modifiers working for us. So civilian stuff, this looks pretty normal so far. We already have some anti-corruption. There's another one right here. Also, blizzard trails and maps gather intel. Need that. Regional soldiers, more intel. Also need that. Outreach office, no, not worried about that. Regional EES, the emergency alert system. Um, it looks like this is a way of multiplying our support, so this is basically going to be our propaganda initiatives, and then we have banishment, less corruption when funded, we'll do that up front so we have less corruption. Regional units are now available, okay, so we could do this, not worried about that right now though, let's go ahead and, oh wow, there's actually a bunch of custom civilian stuff here too. Okay, good, good, good. So let's go ahead and worry about things like the schooling, we can get blankets, that's good, and we're already out of money and inflation has gone up. Sounds like inflation, well actually I take it back, inflation's going down really quickly. I was expecting inflation to get up there and stay up there based on some of the uh, modifiers we've got, but this is completely reasonable and handleable. What is this? Smuggling posts and an ambush. Okay, also a blockade. So if we can send troops over here, we can get rid of the smuggling post, which is going to hit my corruption very hard. We'll have to fight, but as long as we win, they all die. I like this, by the way. This is kind of a cool way to do it. It's a way of ensuring some early combat without making it into a really annoying thing where they run into every freaking embassy possible and end your game. So you actually want to deal with these guys. The problem is I don't want to do it with just one soldier. I need a second. So we'll go ahead and save a bit of money and try to train up a second one pretty soon. A little bit unusual to go for this much military stuff up front, but whenever you have these things sitting around and they're undefended, right, like these corruption posts, I need to get rid of this quick. Look how much corruption we've already got just from training up two soldiers, right? It's pretty bad. What do people want? Healthcare, unsurprising. Uh, let's see, water pipes, fire starters. Yeah, but I'm already getting you. Is this not considered to be healthcare? I guess it may not be. Survival skills and insulate the schools. Hmm, okay. Well, I, I guess we can go for hospital renovations and try to get a bit of extra support that away. That's all fine. New University. We'll just go ahead and do it, but we have to do some support there. More ambushes, but this time we don't have any blockades. Over here, we already see that there's a stronghold. Now, see, that's another thing I'd really love to get rid of. Also an arms cache. Right, like, so So going for some early military units would honestly be phenomenal. Gosh, they're set up everywhere over here, aren't they? 
Okay, there are a lot of enemies to worry about. There are a lot of them. Prevent the insurgents from fleeing. Sometimes I like the fanatical outposts, believe it or not. Sometimes it's worth leaving that up there, just because it ensures they're going to stay in put for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the state units. So we're about to get some coalition soldiers. Can I get rid of this now? Because if I can fight over this before they spawn, I'll just get rid of this stuff. All right, let's just go ahead and start removing this. It's going to make my life a lot easier. They're in the mountains. Good, that's exactly where I want them to stay. Stay in the mountains, please, and thank you. Get rid of that stronghold before it becomes a problem. Good, thank you. Now we go down here. We get some reinforcements. So these guys will pop up and deal with them. So that's good. Then, I mean, the fact that they can cross the river really means that this is a very wide open field. Choke points are non-existent here. Um, we should be fighting and winning this, but let's just go ahead and just bring up some extra troops and make sure this is fine, and we got rid of that too. Okay, so corruption issues are now going to be mostly resolved. We still have to worry about ambushing strikes, and where the heck they're going to retreat. I can try to force these guys to retreat into a blockade. It's going to be really hard to do successfully, though. Uh, let's see, we got a fair bit of support in a few regions here. People want water, we can go ahead and do that. Um... I think we need some anti-corruption. We'll get the regional EAS. Military stuff, we could go for the snow bunkers, we could get more units, snow tires. That's all normal stuff, just kind of rearranged and renamed. Guides and trail finders, soldiers can move without needing support. Without needing support? Okay, we'll pick that up. I think that's supposed to be just normally like not antagonizing people, right? Let's go ahead and move these guys here and start getting rid of the minefields in case I end up needing the mobility. I'm debating whether or not it would make any sense to try and trigger these ambushes. The answer is probably no. Because I have no easy way of containing them until I have a lot more soldiers. Right? Uh, another hospital. Need seven bucks. We can do that. There we go. Approve with some oversight. Costs overrun, because they always seem to these days. There we go. So, we'll do this. I'm gonna go ahead and move you here, actually, just so we can do this here. But, like, this zone, normally, you'd be able to keep it trapped pretty well right here. But they can cross the river, there's gonna be a tunnel, there's ambushes everywhere. Like, I can't deal with these as easily as I'd like. Also, they reinforce each other. Oh, good! Okay, this is actually gonna be a pretty difficult scenario. Not gonna lie. It's gonna be pretty difficult. Um, we'll go ahead and insulate some schools. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it's supposed to be getting really cold and stuff like that, right? So, we need to make sure that the children don't die. The children are our future, after all. They got a lot of connected zones, by the way. I'm going to start losing some reputation here pretty quick. We've got to deal with all this. Get rid of the mines. Come on, get rid of the mines so I can travel faster than this. Ugh, fine. Is the fanatical outpost going to prevent these guys from fleeing? I doubt it. Um, nope, they are still going to be fleeing. Of course they are. All right, get some reinforcements. I don't know if these guys die. They did not. That's good. Um, the minefield here is a problem, but I can try to get in here and deal with this. Let's train up some additional soldiers. I know that I'm going to need them. Coalition soldiers, kind of important. If we fight over here, I'm pretty sure that whatever ambush starts up will retreat across the river into territory they already control. So that's not too bad to deal with. Let's get some... Can I get reinforcements right here, actually? We should be able to cross the river, too. Yes, we can do that. Okay. So that's a thing. So these guys are going to have to probably retreat. We're getting some forces to help us over here. So we're starting to make some progress. Controlling this tunnel is still going to be very annoying, though. What else we want to do? Snow bunkers, I think. Let's get some garrisons set up right over here. It'll be fine. I assume the garrisons can also support across rivers, which should make this a lot easier. Uh, we already have to do extensions. Ouch. I just realized I didn't actually get to choose my advisors in this scenario. That is going to make my life a little bit tough, ain't it? All right, so this is all dealt with, so that's good. We can try to deal with another ambush, and I think we're going to have to somehow deal with that. Um, hmm... Can we move you down here and force these guys to get killed? Yeah, we got enough units, we can do that. What else are people asking for right now? Electricity. You know, fair enough. I imagine heating would be kind of high on your priority list. Let's get some telecoms as well, just so I can start getting some extra support. We've got a fair number of supported zones, which is very surprising to me. I actually didn't think I'd get nearly this much support this early on. But there we go. So these guys all die. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. So that takes care of that. I still need to get rid of these ambushes, but it's not a priority. Can I push up a little bit more to a place like this? Remember that this area is still vulnerable, so we got to be careful. This can become a problem. Uh, we're going to increase the pay for my national soldiers, making sure that they stay a little bit stronger. This area is looking fine, so they're retreating here now. We can get rid of the minefield. Good. All right. Things are starting to improve a little bit. So what else can we do here? Uh, Reestablish communications? No. We can do the outreach office. I'll do that to pick up anything else. Fair trials? Increased support level, gets reputation, that's basically going to be the justice system, so that's fine. 
Uh, what do we have here? The Foreign Relations Office. That kind of looks like the portal symbol, by the way. You know, one of the things there. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, frostbite treatment. Yeah, sure. Influenza vaccine. Purify the water. Let's distribute fire starters. That's a lot of support level. Like an absolute ton of support level for only 10 bucks. I'm very happy with that arrangement. I need to figure out where the other tunnel is, by the way, to make sure these guys don't just keep spawning over here. Because that is going to become a pain at some point, and you all know it's true. I'm actually shocked that we've been able to keep these guys kind of contained to these mountains once again. Didn't expect that. Uh, another garrison right here is a good central location. That's fine. Let's do it. Could use garrisons to make it a lot easier to get rid of these ambushes, by the way. I'm actually wondering if we can ignore them. I, I didn't think I'd have to do that, but maybe we can literally just ignore the fires, uh, the ambushes. As long as they don't trigger, who cares, right? Let's get up over here to these mountains. I'd like to just prevent them from crossing over into this territory. Because you know they're going to be thinking about it. Uh, expand the snow bunkers, even more combat stats, blah, blah, blah. Let's go for the snow tires. Let's go for some more anti-corruption. Let's go for the re-established communications. So now we have uh, extra initiatives when combined with telecoms and basic electricity. Really? Like what? Because I've got telecoms, I've got electricity, expanded electricity. Unlock airstrikes if combined with main roads. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. I mean, that sounds kind of cool. I've never really seen a lot of combo making in the scenario creator, so I like the idea behind that. It doesn't feel like it's totally working yet. Maybe it's working as intended, but I like the idea behind it for sure. All right, so this is sort of working. We're struggling really badly in these mountains, which surprises me. Let's go ahead and train some more soldiers, get some snow gear, make these guys a little bit stronger so we can win some of these fights. Keep these guys back. Let's go ahead and get another long extension. That's the last time I'm doing that, though, because my reputation's gone down way too much. We found a camp. Perfect. Let's go ahead and move some national soldiers over here. We'll reinforce across the river, make sure we can fight this because the mountains are absolutely having problems. Not having airstrikes would be a major problem for me. Might be worth going for expanded electricity and then getting main roads just so I can do that. Also, I just noticed you can only get one level of each of these roads. That's interesting. Okay. Fireplaces would be worth an absolute ton of support, but to be honest, support is not the issue for me right now. We're doing fine on support. I feel good about this. I don't feel good about any of the other stuff that's going on, but I feel good about that part. Hello, there's a tunnel. Please die. There we go. He died. Hooray. All right. They're going to negotiate. I have to lose some soldiers. I hate losing soldiers in an inopportune time, but okay, let's move you here. We're gonna keep the garrisons where they are in order to continue reinforcing a little bit at least. Um, now I wanna go ahead and get the expanded electricity for the airstrikes. So let's get the fireplaces, so I have a ton of support level. Anti-corruption teams are overwhelmed. That's fine, it's fine, stop complaining, you're fine, shut up. All right, we did manage to get this zone, and the only reason we got this zone is not because we won properly, it's because they got so bored they left and then ran into another uh, ambush. But we did find an arms cache. Ah, that's going to be a big part of why they've been so strong. Okay, let's take care of that. We'll get the Foreign Relations Office, get some subtle pressure. I'm not going to renew this because I don't think that we really can. Whoa, hold up. Can we get over here and save this in time? Whoa, no, we did not. Dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, um, I can't get a garrison over here because I can't place one next to zones they control, apparently. All right, you're going to have to go home. That's going to suck because I did not get rid of the insurgents. Um, actually, we just don't have intel in these zones. That's why I can't place garrisons and stuff, right? No, maybe not. All right, whatever. Um, more units. We need that, and we need more anti-corruption and stuff. Corruption purge. I like the implication of just seeing this gun here. <laughs> we purge our corruption. How? We shoot them in head. Boom, problem solved. All right, let's go ahead and move you forward here. Uh, garrison, we can replace the one we already had. I'd actually like to move it in this central location. That'd be even better. But, you know, we'll see what we can do as soon as I take this zone. You can move here. Okay, this is still under control. Still can't get this. All right. I'll place the garrison here. Just to make sure we can retain this. But we are really struggling without those airstrikes. We really need that stuff. Snow camouflage. Okay, this gives us a ton of corruption. I'm not sure I can do that. Um, we can go for repair the air bases, though. There we go. All right, so that's one of those new insurgents. That one is actually working. A new initiative, sorry. That one is working as intended. So now, but why can't I do destroyed air bases? I'm repairing. Are they not repaired? Not fully? Main roads and expanded electricity are needed. Okay, so maybe I go back to what I said before and this isn't totally working as intended. It might be and I'm just an idiot. That is always a possibility, but it doesn't seem that way. Let's get dirt roads, by the way. That's a small combat boost whenever we go into some of these um, areas here. I don't want to 
keep this guy because I'm already losing way too much of my uh, reputation. So we're going to have to send him back. I just want to win this fight, but we're not going to get to. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and boost up our snow bunkers. <sighs> we have to deal with this now. Send him home. Boo. All right, I was hoping we could win this a little bit better. But there we go. We're going to de deal with these guys. Send them somewhere else. We're almost done dealing with... If I get rid of this arms cache, I think we've got it. I really do think that's all it's going to take. Let's move the national soldiers over here. I know there's a tunnel right here because I keep seeing little symbols of insurgents disappearing and then they pop up over here. But the good news is they instantly die. So the more they do that, the better for me. Now we're pushing these guys out of here, which means we're going to get more reinforcements, which means we can defend these mountains, which means we can get rid of the dang arms cache. Ugh. And where are my dang airstrikes? What's this? Improved condition training. Sure, boost their strength. Make these national soldiers so much better at their jobs. Come on, for real though, get rid of this. It's all the reinforcements that are in part killing me. Now the arms cache is going away. Finally, thank God. All right, so that's taken care of. Move into the mountains. Uh, if this is the only tunnel, then I can actually leave this area, but we need to get some recon in this area first. Um, we will do some reinforcing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think now we're fine. Corruption's been more or less dealt with. We could do some local police recruitment, and I will do that just in case something gets out of control. Survival skills, you know, the sort of thing that I think they should be teaching in school under any circumstances, right? I should totally be teaching things like that. Seriously, what is going on over here? Why are we not winning this fight now? And why can't I not place a garrison anywhere over here? No, really though, why actually can't I place a garrison over there? I want to place a garrison. Oh gosh dang it, they retreated. All right, and now I have to do another long extension. I didn't want to have to do this, but my reputation is looking pretty terrible right now. So they're over here, causing a lot of havoc. Right. Uh, I'm going to pull back here, force them over this direction. I don't want to give them grounds back into the mountains. Hello, there's an oil derrick. Well, that's a big part of why they're so freaking strong. Makes sense now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And they immediately destroyed all my fireplaces because they don't like warmth. Right, this all makes perfect sense. Totally perfect sense. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um... I actually don't know, eh, hmm. I don't know why I can't place these here. I don't know what's really driving it. It feels like I should be able to. Get the snow camouflage, get the wilderness specialists, sure. And then with the specialist we attach here, so we have a slight combat boost. And then I move you back here. And then I still don't know what to do as far as getting rid of you guys. Um, but by doing this, these guys will be able to retreat, so I need to place a garrison right here. Why were these guys all dying before and now they're able to retreat? I don't know. I don't know why that's now a thing. Whatever. Get back over here. Destroy the rogue outpost. Destroy their camp. And we'll be fine. Probably. Gosh dang, this is actually proving to be a little bit tricky, isn't it? Let's get another one of these specialists. I do like that. Cave combat tactics, probably going to be important because I'll bet you there's a cave right up over here in the corner. Yep, there's a cave right there. Never mind. They were hiding in the coal mine. All right. We're now going to control the tunnel. And we're about to control the oil, Derek. I'm going to get back up over... I'm going to send you here, you here. Let's clear this out. Then we'll go deal with the fanatical outposts and they won't be able to retreat so we can surround and crush them. That is the new plan. My uh, reputation is absolutely atrocious right now, though, and I'm really unhappy about that. Do you want to get civil assistance? Sure. Human terrain system? Sure. Anything like that is good. Um, I just don't want these guys leaving this zone, which is what they're doing now. Get over here, please. Fight them back. Don't let them do anything. This is why we got police. Make that a little easier. We're still losing over here. What the crud? Where are my airstrikes? I was promised airstrikes! You lied to me! Maybe you wanted highways. Is it highways? No, it's not highways. Maybe you need to roll out all the main roads in all 10 zones. That could be a thing, maybe, I don't know. Probably not, but it could be. I cannot believe these guys are freaking invisible on top of everything else. Like, you just you just had to go and make the insurgents invisible in the snow? Like, how fair is that? Answer, not. I don't think there's anything else I can do that's gonna boost me up here, though. And my reputation still sucks. All right, um, electric heaters, jobs, vocational training, um, blah, 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 blah. unlock new initiatives when combined here. We can pick up both of these. That gets me the separate from central economy, reduce the inflation ramp up. Yeah, admittedly, I let the inflation get out of control here, but I don't really care. It's fine. Gosh, dang it. These guys simply will not die. It's the local stronghold that's doing it. Hold on. What can I do? I can let them retreat. 
Let them go to a different zone and then run in here later. There's still an ambush I haven't even triggered here, actually. Or I need to find a way to get a garrison. All right. I don't want them taking this zone back. That's very important. I don't allow to happen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back, protect this. We're going to lose some reputation for retreating. I'm going to try to get them to leave these mountains and go to a different zone. And then hopefully once they're weaker, we run in here and we snag it from them. Then we can surround and kill them once the stronghold is down. In the meantime, let's go deal with this fanatical outpost. Fully surround the area so I don't have to worry about it. They've already moved on over here. So that's kind of what I was shooting for. Can I run in here and start the fight? There's a camp right here. We're going to get rid of that. That's going to help. Uh, you go here. You go here. And let's see if we can deal with this now. Maybe... No. Gosh dang it. I can't keep these guys. Ugh. All right. So we're going to keep losing this fight is what I'm hearing. I'm not happy about that. Not happy at all. And now they are flowing out of the mountains. Flowing, I tell you. Well, as long as I can win this fight to get rid of the stronghold, I guess it's fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take this out. Take this out. Forget everything. Ugh, garrisons. Why can't I place garrisons where I want them, man? Um, all right. Move here. Reinforce this. Just take out the stronghold. Okay, I think we got the stronghold out of here. These guys should have nowhere to retreat. They should die, right? Come on. Just need to reinforce a little bit more. Come on, come on. Why are there so many of them? It's ridiculous how many there are. Reinforce, kill them. This is almost unbeatable without the freaking airstrikes. Guys, why is this not working? I don't mean to sound like I'm whining or anything, okay? But when, when the scenario is clearly not working as intended, I think it's fair to say that that gets a little frustrating. Just a little bit. Um, all right, we're going to back off and once again, hopefully encourage these guys to leave the mountains, go somewhere else. Can you can you leave and go somewhere else, please? I mean, I'm sitting on a lot of money. Eventually, we can win this by virtue of simply um, funding our military effort nonstop. They're over here at the tunnels again, by the way. Oh, I wish I could place a garrison right here. I'm really not sure why I'm not allowed to. But yeah, they keep like slightly pulling back and it's never quite enough. But they keep getting really, really, really close. Just keep leaving the zone, for God's sake. I think we actually may have... No, we didn't get rid of the stronghold. It's the only thing keeping them alive. The one stronghold is what's keeping them alive right now, for sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We just gotta clear these guys out. Good, they're retreating in the other direction. We're about to get reinforcements. And there we go! God! That was annoying. That was extremely, extremely, extremely annoying. But now we've got these guys down. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Move over here. They can sit in this little zone, this frozen lake. Go have fun over there. I don't even care. We're just going to roll out initiatives in that area. Go ahead and have like some bottled water or something. Forget the winter. All right, the winter's not the issue right now. It's just these freaking lack of airstrikes. You know, I've never had that problem on this map before. I've really never had that issue at all. But there we go. All right, so now that this is taken care of, we just move forward. They're surrounded. They're going to die. And that's the end of the scenario. Also, by getting rid of that rogue outpost, didn't we enable the peace process again? Well, apparently not. Anyway, problem solved. 100% regional stability. That was actually a little bit painful as far as scenarios go. Oh, man. It is actually a good idea for a scenario. I like all of the thematic um, modifiers that are involved. Uh, there's a lot of customization that actually isn't as custom as it looks. I mean, it's just the same thing you've already seen with different pictures. But there are a few new things, and they are pretty good. The embassies were never the issue, though. The airstrikes are what killed it. Figure out what the heck was slowing me down there. And I think we actually would have had a much, much, much better score. I'll give it a thumbs up, though. I think it's actually a pretty good idea for a scenario. And I like the combos, as long as they work. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.